I think there might be another chat. Do you have any tips for how to be grateful every day? And then a follow-up, how do you keep yourself positive on a daily basis? Yeah, boy, that's the, that's the real question. Um, so two things. One is uh, when I find myself, it's very easy to go negative in the world because there are just so many negative things uh, that, that take place. Um, and the first one is every time you run across a negative, see if you could find something positive. There's an old saying in the wisdom traditions that everything contains its opposite. So for example, COVID, I would say um, is probably not the best thing that's happened to us. But if you look carefully, you'll find out that there are some opportunities that have come to us by COVID. Uh, we have a little more time. We have a little uh, more ability to reflect on ourselves. Um, uh, and sometimes you have to dig to find something positive. But, but uh, one way to do it is to, every time you run across a negative thought, see if you can counterbalance it with one positive thought uh, and one positive idea. You don't have to look far to see their suffering in the world. And um, when, when we look at in the moment that we're in, um, in this country, for example, you know, we sometimes think things are terrible and we do have issues of, of um, food shortages and housing issues and a lot of issues in this country. But if you look around the world, you do see that that we still have many, many good things. And so it's to pay attention to those good things. Um, I start the day by watching a video or I do a guided mindfulness positivity meditation, realizing that there are many more positive things in my life than negative. One other, um, this one, sometimes people say, oh, this is a hard one to do, but here's a little exercise I do with myself and I suggest people do it as well. Suppose you found out, and I'm gonna say, let's, let's try this ourselves. Suppose we found out that tomorrow at six o'clock in the evening, we'll take our last breath on this earth. What would we do between now and tomorrow at six o'clock? I would spend more time with my family. Yeah, because that's, and what happens is when you, anybody else, well, let's see what other people say too. Uh, tell people how much you appreciate them. Yeah. We've got travel um, and pray a lot. Eat some of my favorite foods. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good ones. Be nicer. Mm, I like that one. Those are the exact ways you increase your gratitude and you stay positive because, you know, um, heaven forbid, but it's, uh, you know, some of us, uh, people do pass on. Um, and, and if tomorrow was your last day and today could be your first day, what would you do? Uh, do those things that you say are important. Have a, have a favorite food today. Treat yourself kindly. That's what your assignment. Uh, tell the people around you how much you care for them and what they mean to you. Uh, and you'll find out that that makes you grateful, makes you feel really good on the inside and, and makes them feel good too.